What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and we're continuing our release day, World Series Day, Tops Update Series 2022. You guys know why you're here. You guys know why people are ripping this. Hopefully, you got a box or a pack or a blaster. I sold them at Target today. I was glad to see everybody who's got a chance to find some of this, but just be careful because these are selling out. Like I mentioned in my Jumbo Box video, they sold out by noon. And they opened at 10 o'clock. So there are your odds on the regular hobby pack. So you guys know, again, got a hobby box. Get one pack from the store. See if we can snag a hit out of here. Get something good. We've gotten pretty lucky in the past. And uh, we're going to do just one hobby box, I think, on the channel. Uh, no, nothing there. But... Um, you can get these right now on Topps' website for $79.99. These are averaging between $100 and about $130 at your stores. I paid $105 for this. So, <clears throat> but yeah, if you're willing to wait on uh, Topps shipping, and of course you gotta pay shipping and tax, then um, definitely pick one up from them if they're still online as of this video publishing on release day. So, let's see if we snagged anything out of here. A little different than the jumbo box just because we got only uh, 14 cards per pack, not 40, 43 or 46. Got a Helio Ramos for me. We're not going to go through. Oh, what do we got here? Why is this backwards, but it's not numbered? Ah, it's the sneaky blue one. So the blue <clears throat> is a non numbered parallel, and they flip them backwards so that. You don't miss it like I would have. Well, in this case, you're not going to miss it. It's pretty obvious. But And we got, yeah, it's just one insert basically per pack in these as opposed to the jumbo boxes that have like three or four cards. So, all right. <clears throat> so no stolen hit there, but we're going to get at least one auto or relic card in here. We're already going to set the expectation low that it'll be just a relic. Even though Series 1, for those that have been around a while, that Series 1 box is my best video on YouTube because I got the box a day early and I ended up pulling like four Wanderers out of that box and uh, it was pretty cool. So we'll see if we get lucky with J-Rod and Bobby Witt today. Got one silver pack as opposed to two in the uh, jumbo box. And then of course we got a boatload of packs which I'm gonna probably try to rip these uh, mega rip style so we can spend less time opening. And, uh, you know, I promise, I always promise that I try to make my second and third videos of these hobby boxes a little faster because the first one I do take my sweet time with. Um, so let's go ahead and that one already feels thick right here. Oh, maybe they're all the same. So we're going to just get these opened up and stack them up, at least maybe whatever, eight packs or something. Try to make this go a little faster. But so, like I was saying in my other video, let me know in the comments below, who do you think is going to win the World Series? I'm going to go with the Phillies in six. Um, and let me know who you're chasing in this release. I mean, I know the obvious answer for most people is going to be Julio or Bobby Witt, but there's a ton of rookies in here. That's the, what makes this checklist so loaded. A lot of different folks to go after. Lots of teams covered. you got your base rookies. No longer short prints. You've got, you got your uh, rookie debuts for Wander, O'Neal Cruz, some of the other folks. And I forgot to mention in the last video that you still have a chance of pulling these home field advantages. So the home field advantages are going to be in here. There's 10 more. So there's been 10 in each set. And they have a Julio, a Bobby Witt, a Torkelson. I mean, they're pretty loaded. Um, pretty loaded uh, uh, home field advantage cards. So that's kind of cool too. We'll see if I'm lucky enough to pull one of those. Did not have any luck with that in Series 1 until the final... Literally the final pack of the final 
2021 series one product that I ripped, which was off camera, of course. Um, I pulled a uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Um, um, home field advantage card. So I know some people have pulled tons of them. That was not my luck. I'm just going to go through here. It's a little harder to find the insert. So we got something backwards here. So that's going to be probably our relic already. Let's see if we got, let's do it the other way around. Instead of going from the back. Let's see what we got from the front here. Rookie. Dodger. Mookie Butts. Oh, all the obvious. Bat relic. All right. Well, there you go. That's going to be your one hit per hobby box. Again, most of the time, I forget what the odds are of it being a relic versus an auto. Um, but that's what you're normally going to get. So I don't usually put a whole lot of hope into it. It's If you want the guaranteed auto, you're going to have to go with the jumbo box. So let's see here. Flipping on these is going to be a little harder than I thought because we don't have the inserts to... Oh, there we go. Man, I this card is a little bit of a troll because it looks like a short print, but it's the All-Star Game. We did not get this in the last box. So the All-Star Game cards are now inserts this year, not part of the base set. So we'll put that to the side in a good pile. Yet another Yankee Paragons of the Postseason. And a lot of combo cards here. It's Jamie Pena. There's some nice um, Pujols cards in here. It's a, I think three. You can get kind of the Pujols, his all-time in hits, and then his farewell picture with... Um, um, oh, we got a flip card. Oh, man, I thought that was a Torkelson. Gold card number one, Pineda. That is not the most graceful picture might have wanted the tops guy to pick a different picture than that. A little bit of the belly showing up. It's probably not even that. It's just like a big old air gap or something in there. Sometimes I wonder. They, if they went with that picture, how bad were all the other ones? More of the sideways cards. Josh Lowe. Tatis, man. Oh, man, Tatis. We'll see what happens when he gets back. That was... Hey, but at least the... Uh... Oh, there's that other card I was talking about, the One Last Dance. It's a real... For Cardinal fans out there, that's going to be a really nice little trio of cards. Put actually those to the side. But, um... Yeah, at least uh, Tatis is going to spend... What was it? Because they went to the playoffs 11 games, they're going to cut that out of his suspension so I guess that was a good thing of them making it a little further in the playoffs don't have to live without him that long next season but we're all hoping he comes back hopefully he doesn't use uh, off the what was it a ringworm uh, supposedly ringworm medication that caused the the steroid test to flag so stupid Big stack number two. Now you know why breakers prefer to go with the jumbo boxes. <laughs> you get more hits, but it's a lot less packs. At least these packs are pretty easy to open. Unlike Allen and Ginter packs. Actually, speaking of that, like, anybody know when Stadium Club's coming out? Last time I checked, it was supposed to be November 2nd, but it's not on the... It's not on that schedule anymore. I really hope they don't cancel it. I doubt they would, but that is arguably my favorite set every year. A uh, big fan of it. <clears throat> I know a lot of you are too. So, you know, even though the season's going to be wrapping up here in the next uh, 10 days or so, we're going to still have plenty of new releases still coming out, so... Let me know which one you're looking for the most. There's a Torkelson. Over 
here. Another Torkelson. Still haven't figured out what the collation looks like for J Rod. That's the wrong Franco. We have a, I think it's the top black gold coming up. I'd like to get a rookie of one of these. Rookie, rookie, okay, Hunter Green. Not terrible. <clears throat> Any of the guys that were short prints in Series 2, I guess, are considered a good hit here. And Suzuki again. Hunter Renfro, another gold card. So two golds already. I wonder if we're just going through our allotment really fast because I would have expected to only get like three of those per box. We only got three in the jumbo, I believe. Matt Olson over there now with the Braves. Quan. All right. Second part of the second half of the stack. Sawinski is another guy that don't sleep on him. I know you Pirates fans are big on him as well. Let's see what we got here. No, there's another Suzuki on the 87. For those that are new to the channel, this was a, this and 86 were the first hits I ever collected. So these have the old wood grain have a special place in my heart. So now you know kind of how old I am. Still not had a ton of luck with the Julios. Oh wait, All-Star Game. All-Star Games are a little sneaky now because they do just have that logo. Stott, another, another Topps Black Gold coming up. Acuna. Nice looking cards. Using that same, um, I don't think exactly the same as the mini diamond, but very close. Not a parallel, just a nice looking card. Perez. No image variations either. There's Bobby Witt. There's a nice Griffey. Love seeing Griffey every, every once in a while. Denver's debut. So, all right, well, that's our third Bobby Witt. But we still just have one Julio base. The other thing you can get out of the um, hobby, and why I, I always at least mix it up a little bit, and again, they're just a much cheaper, I mean, you'd rather, you're better off getting a hobby than, like, three blasters. You pay, you know, again, if you got them on tops, whatever, say you pay 100 bucks. Still a better deal. The silver pack alone is probably worth, you know, 10, 15, 20 bucks online. So that's worth getting that. We'll do that one last. But the other neat, neat thing about the hobby boxes is that they do have some exclusive parallels. Um, they have the oranges to 25, which for base cards. Now, I did pull a 25 out of the jumbo, but that was on a insert. So. But the base card 25 is, oh, there we got a red showing up there later. We'll see if what that could be. That'll be out of 199. Um, the other one too, which you have to watch, you have to look up some videos to find them because they're very rare, are the acetate number um, to 10. And uh, as opposed to the 330 card checklist, those acetate cards are only number are only 100 cards. So it's only the top cards. And uh, those, if you land one of those, go buy your lottery ticket because that would be a pretty amazing pull. We got a backwards card there. I don't want to break it there. Nope. Yeah, let's go there. All right. Let's see what we got here. Bruhan. We got our first rainbow foil coming up. Man, I got a gold of this guy. Not looking for his rainbow. Odolo. There's a Julio. Take number two there. And we 
got our insert here, Vladdy and the All-Star Game, Corbin Burns. Craig Kimbrell, which I thought was an early correlation for Julio, but I guess I'm wrong. So there we go. Sleep up the Julio. This one off-centered, right to left. This will be my set build version. Because that one's not going to get graded. I don't even know if I would grade the base. I mean, it's going to soon be so much of it. But um, for 18 bucks or whatever, I might still do it. We'll see. You'll, we'll be doing a PSA submission video here in the next couple of weeks. All right, so we have a 199. We have our red card coming up. I didn't see what it was. Let's go the other way and see. What do we have? Do we have a rookie? Not. Don't be a sideways card. We have a rookie, but it's a sideways card. <laughs> Great. Um, you gotta be kidding me. I think I got Jake Walsh on the green. I got the Jake Walsh rainbow going now. At least at the color match. So if you're a Cardinals fan, Check out my eBay store because I will have my Jake Walsh mini rainbow up there by the end of this weekend. That's too bad. Get the rookie. Get a nice... When you get the rookie, I mean, it's nice to get the rookie parallels, but not a pitcher. Come on. There's enough other guys we can maybe get. Let's see if we get lucky here. There's the other Albert. So that Albert, just so you guys know, I mean, this is a cool little set here. You get the one last dance, the ninth all time, and the Albert Pujols. I've already seen people selling just these three cards. And again, it's the first day of release. These three cards here for ten bucks. So I'm going to put those aside. That's what I'm going to do. And um, if you're a Cardinals fan, look me up. But uh, that's a nice little commemorative little mini, little mini set they did there for Pujols. Definitely deserves that. Ryan Sandberg on the scratched up uh, diamond grates. Again, not numbered. And let's see, we've got one parallel. We've got the blue one technically too, but let's see if we can get anything else out of here. Abrams. Oops. Putting things in the wrong stack here. Pena. There's our all star game, Ian Happ. Not to keep flipping, I just have to read these upside down. Mount Castle, my adopted player from the other orange and black team. Big fan of Mount Castle. There's a Torkelson debut, and that will wrap up that stack. So, we got one stack left and a silver pack. We've gotten two golds, one silver. Or one rainbow foil, which I expect to get at least one more. And, uh, what, two? Oh, maybe three numbered parallels so far, so we should get at least one more, I would hope. Curious if uh, those of you that got these at your LCS, did, were they running out? Did you miss out on it some because they sold out too fast? I imagine there's going to be people that are just buying cases of the, cases of this stuff um, because of the checklist being so strong. I was really surprised that the pre-ordered prices didn't just shoot up in the last week when the when the uh, checklist was released. Just given of you know people had. We're hoping that it would be this loaded, and uh, was really happy to actually see they they stuck through. They stuck through with it. Didn't make any last minute changes. So, Kenzie Gore, Bryant, Kershaw. It's Bobby Witt debut. Get back in the focus here. Let's see, Hunter Green. We got our Torkelson insert. There's the regular Jake Walsh to complete my rainbow.
<clears throat> and we got Matt Chapman on some type of oh nice short print variation I was like it's not numbered but there we go Chapman with the variation and we know it's a variation because the code on the bottom is what is that 59 59 I think it's 41 on the base cards let's see for those that haven't done it before yeah you can see right there 41 is the code that's going to be your normal print your normal image it's a nice uh, Duran foil at least all right Probably one of the better ones I've gotten. And uh, so, yeah, not too bad on the Matt Chapman. Did not get any photo variations out of the first hobby box, the first jumbo box. And we will be doing another jumbo box here later today. So doing a triple upload today. Going all in. There's a Wander Franco rookie debut. Wander Mania got overtaken by julio mania but he'll be back next year healthy and we got two studs both with huge contracts for their team so they're not going anywhere hopefully so um yeah wander and j-rod and we've got more of these new young guys coming and making a name for themselves especially during the playoffs so nice to see that here we go last round here Another Hunter Green generation now. Team cards. There's a Julio on the rookie debut. Doubling up on that. And I think that will be it. Maybe we got one more chance at something here. Romo. Wow, that's way different than we have on the Giants. Let's see. One more shot here. King Griffey Jr. in on the 87. So I got some nice Griffeys. And that will be it for the normal packs. So let's end it hopefully here. We did get a variation or a parallel in the uh, jumbo box. See if we can get an auto. See if we can get a J-Rod out of here. I need something to send in to get graded. We did get something. Colton Welker. Brian De La Cruz. Josh Winder. And this is going to be the parallel. You can barely tell, but it's a slightly different color parallel to 199. Yankees Judge. Oh, Jeter. Nice. And that should be to, oh, 150, actually. Even lower. I still can't tell what color. It's gray. It looks like a gray color. The other one was blue. So a nice little hit there to end it. Derek Jeter on the Silver Pack Mojo, the 150. So <clears throat> so for a hobby box, I mean, for 100 bucks, we didn't hit anything huge. We got the Relic, as expected, because chance of getting an auto is like, one out of ten or one out of eight, whatever. Then uh, non-numbered parallel, Milot. Um, did we only get... I think we only got the... Uh, we got the red. We did get a short print. So, yeah, we got the red. We got the short print, Matt Chapman. You know, we got our Julios and Wanders and all the rookies here. Oh, you know, you're going to get those no matter what. You know, I think we got one of each doubles on Bobby Witt and then boatload of inserts and then we did get our two golds so maybe two golds is the hobby box yield at a 2022 and then we got two silvers so two rainbow foils two gold cards I mean that's not a bad you know a bad uh, ratio for what I go let's say 100 bucks but 80 bucks if you buy them on top's website so yeah that's gonna be pretty much it we do have one more uh, jumbo box ready to go. We'll be doing that one later tonight and uh, continuing our triple header of the new release today. 
But yeah, let me know in the comments what cards you've been pulling. Have you been able to find some? Have you gone the retail route? We'll be doing some blaster boxes and hanger boxes here later, but we're doing just hobby boxes today. And um, yeah, let me know who you think is going to win the World Series, who, um, who you've been chasing in this product through the loaded checklist here. And uh, drop us a like, comment, sub if you haven't already. We'll be doing lots more baseball and football over the next couple of weeks. And um, appreciate you guys taking the time, and we'll catch you on later. Take it easy. Bye.